I got this at a garage sale. I got about a dollar in it and I took a best offer of $67 for this. Hey, Polo Buddies. Thanks for watching. All right. In this video, we are going to talk about my big money bolos, items to be on the lookout for, items that I sold for a big profit. <laughs> I was going to say items I bought low and sold for a big profit. I'm going to tell you where I got it, what I paid for it, and what it sold for. So let's get started here with the first one, and it is a plush. And if you want to learn about more stuffed animals that sell for big money, definitely check out this YouTube channel. Um, type in Bolo Buddies plush and you will get a ton of videos that talk about big money plush bolos. Plush is another name for a stuffed animal. So here is one I had never seen before. I picked this up at the Goodwill Benz and it was totally unexpected. But when I looked at it, I was like, it just has a really unique look. I've never seen it before. I'm going to grab it. Uh, Piro Piro Sparkles Mellow Plush Yuri Sakia <laughs> Stuffed Animal. I probably pronounced most of that wrong, but I got it at the bins for probably maybe a buck or two, and I sold it for a best offer of $50 plus shipping. So definitely be on the lookout for this little guy. I found two that day, and I believe they both have sold. Here's the little, uh, what you're looking for on the behind, but you'll, you'll, like when you see it, you're going to be like, this is different. I've never seen this. So anything that's different that you've never seen before, look it up, number one, and price it on the higher end and just wait for the right buyer because a lot of times these are hard to find items and they will sell for more. This is a vintage Kenner 1985 Green Eyes Hug a Bunch Patootie Plush Doll um, Hallmark Stuffed. <laughs> <laughs> this is what it looks like. I got this at a garage sale for $5 and I, it was in really good condition. $5. I don't know. Do you guys feel like that's a lot for a plush? I tend to spend a buck or two on my plush, but this one was in such great condition and it was vintage that I splurged and paid five and I sold it for $52 plus shipping. The next item is this vintage Eden pink Terry waffle thermal plush floppy lane lamb. It's a lovey style. Um, a lot of times loveys are connected to blankets and uh, or people call the smaller stuffed animals loveys also. Sometimes if you want to learn more about the blankets, the lovey blankets, type in Bolo Buddies lovey and I've got a whole video about it. You can also check out the Rebel reseller. She t sells a ton of plush. And she will sell bread and butter and big money plush. So it's a great way to learn about uh, the way to grow your store selling plush. Uh, I cannot remember where I got this one. I think it was the Goodwill bins. I sold this for a best offer of 75. Now, I probably could have gotten over 100 for this if I would have been more patient. But I knew that I didn't have a lot in it. And I went for the quick flip on this one. So... Listed it high, took a best offer of 75. Would you have waited? For those of you that know this brand and know that this is a Bolo, would you have held out for more? Let me know down in the comments. Two Living Quarters Halloween figurines, Jack-O-Lantern, Man, Ghost, Witch, Man, Retired. Okay, so these came out of a thrift store mystery box. It was a Halloween box. So I probably had five bucks or less in these. And you can see the original price down here on the bottom. And I sold these for my asking sale price of $39 and the buyer paid shipping and Pinky, Pinky's secondhand store bought these and um, she is just a great support to the channel. So I just wanted to give her a little shout out there and to say thank you for your purchase. I appreciate it greatly. And these are, I think these are really cool. The next item is this vintage Sons of the American Legion Pass Commander 120th 10 karat lapel pin. Now, this is another one that I was just kind of like, do I list it high? I could not find the exact one. This one had the original um, backing. It was still on that. I did take it off the card, thankfully, and I found out that it was actually 120th 10 karat. So that I could put in the title. And the person messaged me, they made an offer of $50 and said they were graduating from something or something like that. So this pin was really important to them. So I went ahead and took the $50 and the buyer paid shipping. 
The next item is this vintage lawnware hanging patio RV camping swag lamp light number 237 and it works. And is that not cool or what? I bought four of these at a garage sale. I think I bought four. Was it four or six? I don't know, but I think I have one left. Uh, I sold this one for $50 best offer and the buyer paid shipping. So I had two that were this color and I think two that were cream. There may be one cream one left. I paid $5 each for them. Uh, I almost did not buy them because they're a little bit bigger and you know me and shipping. I like to ship the small, easy stuff, <laughs> but I did buy them and they have done really well. So I'm glad I picked them up and they weren't that bad to ship. This is an Aunt Martha's 288 Lone Star Quilt Ready Cut Quilt Pieces M10 Rainbow New. So this is what it looks like. And I think it's just the quilt pieces. I sold this for $70 best offer and the buyer paid shipping. And I got this at a thrift store for $4. I love selling craft kits that are sealed and ready to go. They are so easy to ship. They are so easy to list. A lot of times they're bolos, but uh, meaning big money bolos. And other times they are just bread and butter. But if you can pick them up for a buck or two and, you know, flip them for even 10, 15, 20 bucks, that's still a great profit. This is a Mega Blocks 9301 Plant Zoids uh, Repsilian Replacement Bricks. Parts incomplete. Okay, so I picked this up at a garage sale and I parted it out. And I will say that um, I was hoping it was all going to be there, but it was incomplete. So I took the minifigures. I think they sold a long time ago. This took a little longer to sell. These things are actually pretty big. But this finally sold. I probably could have sold those weapons. I think they're weapons or bullets or something. I probably should have sold these right here separately. Because these always get lost. I probably could have sold each one separately for 7 to 10 bucks. Who knows? I didn't look them up. But anyway, um, I probably lost some money there. What would you guys have done? Let me know in the comments. Sold it for $38 plus shipping. The next one is this German Shepherd plush scholastic 2019 stuffed animal. This little guy is only five inches big. And why did I list it so high? Because I couldn't find another one like it. It's scholastic, which means it probably goes with a book. And somebody probably has that book and is looking for this dog. And it sold pretty quickly for my sale price of $49.60 plus shipping. And I got that at the Goodwill Benz. The next one is this Rock and Roll Hall of Fame bear stuffed animal plush. It's got tattoos. It's got piercings. He is very, very different. Um, a very different style of stuffed animal. You don't see stuffed animals with piercings and tattoos very often. So I priced it high. I sold it for my sale price of $49.60 and it sold pretty quickly. And I got that also at the Goodwill Benz. This is a mug and it has a defect. It, um, let me see if I can show it to you. It has this hairline crack and I don't think it was cracked all the way through, but I paid a dollar for it at a garage sale and I still sold it for $37.20 and the buyer paid shipping for this tiki mug. If you see tiki mugs, definitely look them up. This one was signed Japan. I love selling items made in Japan. Um, always look those up. This is fabric. I got this at a garage sale. I got about a dollar in it. And I took a best offer of $67 for this. It's jacquard, I think is how you say it. Fabric blue. I don't know how to say that word. Um, excellent silk mill made Hong Kong. So here's the information here. And I did lay this out and it was 28 by 108 inches. And there was tape on it. And you can see right here that tape stuck to the fabric, unfortunately. So how they had it stored was with masking tape. So I just disclosed it and still sold it for a nice profit. This is a uh, Soroptimist. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Soroptimist. International signed pen with gavel and chain. And this is another situation where somebody messaged me. They made me an offer, said that they had lost theirs and they needed a replacement, that this was not exactly the same, but this was the closest they could find. So. Um, Again, a lot of times these things are long tail, but sometimes they sell quick. This sold pretty quickly. Um, you just, the right buyer is going to come along. Again, this person said this 
is not exactly what I'm looking for, but it's the closest thing I could find. So imagine if I would have had what she was looking for. Maybe you have it sitting in all your pins. <laughs> so get those items listed. I took a best offer of $50 plus shipping on that. And there's the little marking. I have no idea what that means. And the next item is this lot of five vintage Ironstone Yarns Hampton Mohair Blend. Now, I really had this one priced high and I was shooting for the stars on it. Um... I got it at a thrift store. I paid $1.20 for, I I, uh, I feel like I paid $1.20 each. So I've got about seven bucks in it with tax and everything probably. And I took a best offer of $75 plus shipping. And you can see here it's mohair and I don't know, but it was originally $5.65. I don't know what makes it special. I did look for comps and it seemed that this type with this color combo was harder to find. So I listed it high and it took a long time to sell and I took a best offer. I probably could have sold it quicker. I think I remember I did have an offer on it at one point that I did not take. So um, probably should have took it, but I don't know what it was. I can't remember. So anyway, some of these are very unexpected. Uh, what do you guys think? Do you think um, you would have picked these items up or do you think you would have walked past them? Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Check out my other Big Money Bolo videos. I also have bread and butter videos. I also have videos where I feature bolos from my Facebook group. So members of the group share their Big Money Bolos and I make videos about it. So crazy bolos. So check that out. Thank you again and see you at the next one. Thanks for watching.